Welcome to Worldcraft Logistics, episode number 22. My name is Jimmy and I'm the owner of Worldcraft Logistics. And today I'm gonna show you step-by-step step from the logistical paperwork side all the way to the physical delivery of an Amazon LTL shipment to an Amazon FBA location located here in California. We're gonna take it to LAX9. So the first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a truck. You could buy a truck or you could rent a truck. Uh, buying a truck is kind of expensive. Are you gonna do it a lot? Yes, buy a truck, but I would recommend lease, leasing or renting a truck to, to begin with. So uh, you could rent your truck at Penske. Don't get the U-Haul truck. The U-Haul truck are usually very low. It's it mainly designed to help people low um, households good. So what you want is you want a truck that's commercial high uh, or dock high. Uh, I will show you some picture of what the truck look like after this. And those trucks usually come with a lift gate. So why is the lift gate important? Because if you're gonna do it at your home or you're gonna do it at a small warehouse that you have that don't have a lift gate, when you take the pallet onto the lift gate, the lift gate will lift your pallet up and then you're gonna, you know, you could easily lower your pallet into the truck. So first thing first is a truck. Number two, what are you gonna need next? You're gonna need a pallet jack. So pallet jack, you could buy it locally, you could try to search on the web, or you could just buy it on Amazon. Those things are pretty expensive, they're about like three, $400. You could buy it used for maybe 175, and this is what a pallet jack look like, okay? It's gonna help you lift the pallet, you know, into the truck, and later when you get to Amazon and you dock at Amazon dock, it's gonna help you take it out. Number three, a vest. So you cannot enter Amazon um, facility without a vest. So make sure you have a vest. And also, again, when you enter their warehouse to unload the pallet, again, you would need a vest. And once you enter their warehouse, no cell phone is allowed. No pictures, so no cell phone, all right? And then number four, now we're gonna talk about the logistic paperwork side of things. So in order for you to make delivery to Amazon, you can't just show up in a car and just you know deliver your 10 car and or your pallet right you need to go to amazon freight central so i will show you the link below just click on that and sign up it's it's fairly easy they respond within 24 hours so number one you're gonna need your dot number you need to register with that uh and then you will need your pallet dim your pallet weight how many carton uh pieces uh arn number delivery location. There's a lot of location you need to fill out, but pretty much I'm just giving you the summary of what you need, okay? Uh, the next one is number five. 24 hour later, you usually respond pretty fast. 24 hour later, number five, they're gonna to respond to you with a delivery confirmation. What the delivery confirmation have is what you submitted, but most important thing is that it's gonna have a barcode. You can see it right here, the barcode, okay, right there. So with this barcode, you are you're going to need this barcode during delivery because once you get to amazon amazon is going to require you to scan the barcode for you to enter the facility without the barcode good luck right you can't go in after this is number six the final step for the is of the paperwork is a bill of lading you are going to need to generate a bill of lading and um, you could get a, a generic form online or for us, we do it for our clients, but you know, you, basically the bill lading is saying that it's gonna go from location A to location B, and then how many pallets it has. So you're gonna need this information to make your delivery to Amazon. So now I, I explained the process of how to do it. Now we're gonna move to actually doing it physically so you know what logistic company like myself go through to make delivery for our client. Now that we have our dock door up and our ramp raised to our truck, the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna pallet jack the shipment into the truck. So your pallet right here, you know, typical Amazon pallet, it's gonna be uh, 172 inch, 48 by 40, and then four way pallets. Okay, we're gonna pallet jack it in. So now that we are loaded, I left the pallet jack inside with the cargo. So when I make my delivery to Amazon, I'll have my pallet jack to pull the cargo out. 
All right, so we're gonna hop on, we're gonna go. So we just check in to the guard booth and uh, we give the guard our appointment number. So right now they give us um, a parking space for us to just sit and wait. Um, Amazon is pretty busy, the main warehouse. So right now we are at this parking lot, just full of dirt, just waiting because, you know, instead of a long line, they have a dirt parking lot for us to wait. So now we're just gonna sit and wait. So during the peak season, you can wait for like eight hours or like 14 hours. But we're not in peak, so hopefully we only wait for like maybe one or two hours. Okay, so we waited for roughly four hours. And now we are next in line to go dock and unload the shipment. And we just finished unloading. There's no cameras allowed in the facility. So right now we are leaving the yard. So we started this trip around six o'clock and it finally ended just for six pallets. Okay, now we are back to our yard. That's our yellow truck. The time now is 11.45. So we start at six o'clock and now we are finally finished. Thank you very much for watching. I wanna, you know, go over the process again. So we start the day at 5.30. That's when we start loading all the truck and, you know, loading the six pallet, putting it in, and then we get to Amazon around 6.30. That's when we check in. Uh, Amazon take us to a yard. And at the yard, we waited for uh, four hours and um, 15 minutes, you know, to 10.45, from 6.30 to 10.45. And then finally, Amazon allow us to go in. We dock, they take us to the warehouse, vest on, mask, uh, mask on, unload the six pallet. Took us about, you know, 20 minutes to unload paperwork and such things, you know, 30 minutes. And then we finally drive back, make it back around 11.45, dock the truck, everything is done so uh you know this this is like a, a learning experience right for, for those that always wonder uh, why does the truck take so long to to take a shipment to amazon you know right now as i'm recording this video this is the early august early august means we're not even in peak season we're not there's no holiday coming up right uh so once we hit q4 i'm talking about like you know starting october november december that's when amazon is going to be very packed so today slow day and it's late delivery at 7 p.m uh we waited four hours uh during the peak season as you can see now why trucker is saying oh you know they're taking eight hours 12 hours, 14 hours, and trucker, they have a limit of time that they could drive and work. So that's why some trucker just kind of like way too long and they just turn around. Amazon, they just get so packed, they just turn people around. And today, it's not a slow, it's not a busy Q4 and it still takes us four hours. So um, I want to share that experience with you um, as a viewer. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us, email us, uh, my phone number, my emails below. And if something, this is something you don't want to do and you want Worldcraft Logistics to handle for you, we'd be happy to provide this service. This is something that we do, you know, for the last, uh, you know, over five years. I would say we have been doing this for seven years, right? Um, thank you very much for watching. Again, bye-bye.